Hi, I'm Tim. I'm the creator of the Open Solar Project on GitHub, and I'm here today at beautiful Diamond Park in Oakland to show you what it looks like to take a solar panel, an inexpensive DC-DC buck converter, and an inexpensive ESP32 microcontroller, and make yourself a Wi-Fi connected uh, local smart home solar charge controller that runs an MPPT maximum PowerPoint tracker. So join me on the bench, literally a bench here at the park, and uh, I'll show you what it looks like to build one, wire it yourself, and uh, also a demo of what it looks like uh, running on a pretty sunny day like today. A little cloudy, but pretty. Okay, so we've got our solar panel. We've got the wires coming out of our solar panel. We need a way to be able to connect that into our power supply, our DPS unit. So. It has screw terms on the bottom, screw terminals. Uh, so all we need is a way to get the standard solar connector and plug it in. So the first step will be to cut and strip some cable length here. Again, we never have anything connected to the solar panel. That would be live. This is disconnected. And we're not going to connect this directly in, speaking of live, to the DPS. We're going to connect it through a DC dual pole circuit breaker. This one's 32 amps. It's a little higher than we'd want for this one panel, but I use it for other things. Uh, I've also got it wired directly into a uh, voltmeter, which I'll show you in a minute. So we're going to connect that into here, and we're going to connect this into our solar panel setup. Two. Excellent. And this should be strong enough to pull on and not have any issues. So, off. We can now plug in Okay, now we can switch it on and see that our voltmeter comes up because it's difficult to see the screen on the DPS outdoors. So uh, we can just see this a lot easier. Uh, but all the same information will be shown on here. You've got your input on this side and I've got that wired into a, an XT60 here so I can plug that in. And the output you want to connect it to a battery. I have a lithium ion pack that I made out of Tesla Model 3 cells. All right, way too small for an average system, but it'll work great for this. First test, here I've got a five amp maximum output. If I just enable this, you'll note that the solar voltage, 11.59, is equal to the battery voltage, minus 0.5. 11.1 volts for these cells, and your input voltage is 11.52. You can see that up here a little easier. Well. That's not MPPT. That's just forcing the solar panel voltage down to the voltage of the cells. Uh, but we are getting 5.5 watts. It is cloudy, overcast, in the shade. You're not going to get anything more. So to control the DPS, you want to have an ESP32, and you want a little cable. And you can see here on the DPS unit, it's got a connector, a little four pin. And uh, when you buy a DPS unit, it comes with, it needs to come with either a Bluetooth or a USB connector. And this is the Bluetooth option. You're not using that. You just need to take this connector, give yourself some length, cut it, and make, this is the big deal, you need to make a connector. So I've got one that I've already cut. You can pull out the red, you don't need that. And in fact, you will easily break your DPS supply if you use it. I'm gonna cut them all the same length. I'm going to take all three. I'm going to strip off a small two millimeter segment from each. Wonderful. Now I'm going to take a crimp tool and connectorize the ends of those cables. So you need one, two, three JST and a connector block. All right, so you're going to take each, you're going to crimp a connector. Perfect. So now we've got pins ground and then 16 and 17. So in the end, we're going to have ground. So ground, the cable that is right the closest to ground on this side, here I've got it as yellow, is the furthest from ground on this side. And you can just refer to the wiring diagram on the website. End up making a cable that looks like this. You can plug this into your ESP32. I've done a little dot of 
acrylic paint pen just to keep them straight, but you can look underneath, check to make sure you've connected ground, bins 16 and 17. All right, now if we disable output and we connect in the ESP32, we connect it into the back of our DPS. Now I'm gonna power this off. And here you can see this tiny little connector up at the top and then use a screwdriver to seat it all the way down. Perfect. We can plug back in the battery bam, and power back on the solar panel. Hey, quick editor's note here. So the ESP32 that I uh, was using in the demo here was running a firmware that's not included you know, when you buy the thing. So uh, that is the project that I've made. Uh, installing that, flashing it is going to be its own video. It's not ready yet, but if the video is not there, reach out on the Discord. Also, there is one change setting that you'll need to set to specifically allow it to run on the DPS 5005 controller. So keep a lookout for that. Here I've got a USB cable. Plug it in and first things first is that you'll notice the solar panel voltage went back up to 19.4 volts and it's starting to pull more and more current. And you can see all of this again on the DPS screen, 19.2 volts, 19.3 volts. This is just nicer to see outside. MPPTs will run the solar panel at a different voltage than the battery. That's the whole idea. Um, and it will do a slow sweep and find where the maximum power point is for the solar panel, which is around 17 volts. And it'll do that right now as we watch. There we go. It just found the minimum point, brought it back down. Now we're getting six watts. So if I put this in the sun, we'll get a little more. Let's go take it to the sun. All right, I've got solar panel plugged in, dual pole breaker. I've got the energy meter here, and I've got the DPS power supply. So I'm going to enable it. The 20 volts of the solar panel collapses down to the 11.5 of the batteries. Gives me 8 watts. Now, if I leave that, and all I do is I connect in my ESP32 to power, and that boots up, you'll notice that the panel goes back to 20 volts. And then it starts, it goes down to 18.6. It's 10 watts. And you can see that this DPS module notes the input voltage and it changes the current to get the maximum power output possible. But that's it for the wiring. It's, it is literally that simple. Panel, breaker, ESP32, also power supply, battery. That's it.